Hi guys, Jeremy with AccustomGeek.com here, and I want to show you something uh, mod I did on an AG Stomp. Um, I have a friend who's a professional musician, um, keyboard player, guitarist, bassist, uh, lots of other things that I can't even list. Um, but anyway, he, he has a setup, and his setup is, uh, his main instrument is a keyboard, and then underneath his keyboard he has various MIDI controllers and uh, pedals and effects and switchers and stuff like that and so his real estate is very valuable underneath his keyboard um, and so uh, he basically uses banks one two and three on this guy and he has them preset uh, before he plays anything live and so basically he needs access to these three banks he doesn't really need to tweak anything during a live set and he just needs to do this with less real estate so the answer I came up with is this guy here and so this is basically just an aluminum box um, a guitar pedal that you can step on and not hurt, a uh, seven segment display that's really big and bright, and then a really heavy duty connector. So, uh, let's go ahead and turn this guy off, and then get this guy connected here, plug that in, and then go ahead and screw it down, and there we go. You can see now that I have everything connected, I'm going to go ahead and turn this guy on. And it'll boot up, and then um, uh, the guy's name is Austin Beal, as you can see. I'll put a link to his website. He's a really good musician. And um, uh, here we go. Now we're on bank one. So I can go ahead and hit this guy, and then bank two, then bank three, and then back down to bank one. And you can see the decimal um, will calm down after switching banks. Uh, what that's for and why that's a variable is because um, this is hooked up to my guitar now. And it's a signal indicator. So that means that uh, you're connected and really good when you're playing live sets and you're going to go on live with something. You want to make sure that everything's plugged in and connected and working good. That's a good way to do it. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Going from the footprint of this guy, which you can tuck away in a corner now, have this guy and then still have your, uh, your bank control and then an indication uh, nice, big, and bright as to what bank you're actually on and then whether there's signal coming through or not. There you go. Hey guys, wanted to go over the operation of this pedal here. And uh, this pedal is pretty simple from the outside. There's basically a, a, a good strong connector on the outside, about a one inch seven segment display, and then uh, uh, you can stand on it button that won't break in an aluminum case. So if we take this guy apart, um, what you'll find here is there's basically uh, a seven segment display. There's three transistors to control the relays inside the stomp. And then uh, for a controller, I use an Atmega 328. Um, and this board here is one of these guys. I had a few of these made just fooling around. I wanted a breakout for a uh, TQFP package. So um, I made this guy here, and uh, this actually worked very, very well. I populated all the, I put headers um, all the way around it. And uh, there's pins directly connected to the seven segment and the transistors. There's no driver because. Uh, I, I could pull it off with with that few pins, so I'm going to see if this guy will focus a little bit closer here. Um, that'll work. So uh, what we're going to do now is I'm going to go over uh, what's going on here. This is basically kind of like an Arduino uh, on a square inch. Basically, it has a 328 uh, crystal caps, um, all the breakouts, minus power management here. So um, what this does is just controls the seven segment and then the switch input and then the relay outputs to the transistor is really really simple. Uh, one thing I did to save space is if you look on the back um, it's almost directly connected but there are resistors here. There's 603 resistors here, 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 and then I think one right here. So I don't know how well you can see that on the video uh, maybe I'll get a, a picture of one and I'll, I'll stick it in there, but they're they're really, really small. But it saved me a lot of space. Um, I trimmed all the pins except for these six, and you can imagine why, because you can take uh, an FTDI cable and plug it in here, and then you can easily update the firmware and do uh, whatever else you want to do. So um, I thought it was pretty neat uh, that I could use this on top of this other board here and not, uh, not have to do a DIP28 package, which would have been virtually impossible and I didn't have time to order a custom board for this which I would have liked to have done but um, it turned out really well so I'm pretty happy with it and that's the inside of this thing. Hey guys, wanted to show you the inside of this AG Stomp here. Um, if we take this pedal apart here um, and 
take a peek in here, you can see these stomp switches here are connected and uh, they have these little JST connectors uh, right here and basically the red is common so you have four uh, you have four wires. You have a common and then you have one, two, and three. So if you connect uh, these guys you get bank one, bank two, and then bank three. If that made sense. <laughs> so uh, moving right along, th there's just a board of relays in here. That That's all it is. I use relays for isolation so I wouldn't have to tap into um, any of the circuitry on the stomp. So there's just a board down there uh, with three relays. I'll get a better shot of it um, in a minute. So those relays just basically click on and off for the buttons. And then uh, if I slide this this way, you can see there's uh, power. There's a 7805 right here. There's two 7815s here. Uh, I took power from 7805. Um, minimal current draw from the sub pedal, which has all the brains in it. And uh, that's pretty much it. Um, power and ground. And then there's one other wire that I unsoldered. Uh, that's this guy here that goes over to the phone's output. Uh, and that provides uh, the signal the signal indication when there's an audio signal in there the decimal point lights up according to how much signal is in there uh, so that's pretty much uh, pretty much it in a nutshell